Welcome to Airport 86, live from London's Heathrow Airport this Monday afternoon. I hope you're tucked up nice and cosy with your lunch. It's just starting to chuck it down here. You know, aviation touches the lives of all of us in Britain, whether we fly or not. If you just pick up this morning's newspapers, there are several stories about aviation in there. British Airways hopes for privatisation and their six-monthly fall in profits. Uh, a shock horror story about flying and even a story about Westland helicopters, the, uh, the helicopter company that was almost responsible for all sorts of things in government. Every day this week we'll be joining a huge variety of people who work here and the passengers who make this the world's busiest international airport. Already today our cameras have caught an incident which we'll bring you later on, uh, which turned out it had a happy ending in the end, but it just shows you the sort of drama that can happen at an airport. From here we'll be taking you around the country, indeed halfway round the world, to discover how this industry works and how you can get the very best from it. Now, we have adopted our very own Airport 86 aeroplane. It's this Boeing 757 you can see behind me. It's called the Raglan Castle, or officially around here they know it as Kilo Victor. We are going to see just how much this plane has to fly to earn its keep. It's about to depart for Geneva, and its captain on board the flight is John Stevens. Now, John is also spending the week under our very close scrutiny. John, I know you're about to depart. You are very busy up there in the cockpit. What state are you actually in at this moment? Well, we've just finished off the pre-flight preparations, Mike. Um, we're just waiting now for the final bits of loading to be done and uh, ship's papers to be brought up for us, and we're just watching with interest the passage of this rain here. It might cause a little bit of a delay if there's a very heavy rain or any turbulence associated with it there. So it's all in a state of um, definitely going ahead as planned, but we're just keeping a weather eye on the storm up ahead there. 